Hello and welcome to the Kylie Koo Studio. Our prompt this month in the Mixed Media Emporium Facebook group is Colour Families and the challenge for this week is to create something that is tone on tone. I'm going to use one colour which is that turquoise in the middle and also some white and black to create tones but I'll say a bit more about that in just a moment. You could also use different colours from say the same colour family and if you have a colour wheel you can check that for colour families. If you don't then just go on and uh, google it and a colour wheel will come up and you can see the different colour families within that. But as I say I'm just going to use that one colour. I'm going to use my gel plate today just for ease of creating some quick colour on the background. The gel plate looks very discoloured, that's just because I've had it a long time and I just have a palette to the side. I've cut myself some ATCs which are three and a half inches by two and a half inches and that was just from some mixed media paper and I'll leave a list of all the supplies I'm using in the description box below. So as I put my paints out onto my palette, let me just say that you don't have to use acrylic paints, you could use uh, watercolour paints, you could use inks, you could use ink pad inks, distress inks, anything of that sort at all. You don't have to use acrylics for this challenge. This is just what, what I wanted to do today. So I'm setting out my turquoise with my white and with my black and I'm just going to do a little bit to begin with to show what I mean by tones. Now this is a quick explanation but feel free to jump ahead a minute or so if you don't want to see this but I've just got a little off cut of paper here and here is my basic turquoise colour straight from the tube. So I think this was called a deep turquoise. So I'm just taking that. Now I can lighten that colour by adding white, obviously. Uh, that's what white does, it lightens it. That's called a tint. So I'm just going to show you here how you would tint the paint. And you can see right away that that's going to be much lighter. So just trying to get all of that paint mixed in as best as possible because I don't want it appearing different colours when I put it down. So you can see there that I've tinted it and made it lighter. Now to darken the paint I will add a touch of black and this is calling creating a shade. So adding white is a tint, adding black is creating a shade. And you know I'm just explaining this today because there's sometimes terminology used and it's used kind of interchangeably and uh, so I just want to be clear about what we actually are talking about in this challenge. So there we have the darker colour there, the darker shade there. And often, although they're all from the same colour, we just refer to them as colours, even though one's a tint and one's a shade. Now, of course, I could add a bit of black to the one I've already added the white to. So, strictly speaking, this becomes a tone because it has grey added to it or a mix of white and black. And I'm just going to put this below and again you'll see some of the differences are quite subtle but it's quite amazing how from just one colour plus uh, black and white added individually or together can create a whole series of tints and shades and tones. But for today we are just going to call all of these tones. So as I say I'm only explaining that because I don't want any confusion about what is allowed in the challenge, allowed in air quotes there, and what isn't. So you know you get the picture so let's just go with it. Okay, so I'm going to speed it up a bit. So directly onto my gel plate, I'm placing some 
turquoise and some black and I'm going to mix these well and together. Now if you didn't have a gel plate you just mix it up and just apply it with a paintbrush. I want to start with quite a dark tone so this is a shade because I've added black and you know I just keep ro using the roller to mix it in together and I'm just going to do four cards I've got a couple of indents on my gel plate there, so I'm making sure that I miss those. Getting that, I'm grabbing another piece of paper just to press that down and to get as much colour on as possible. And of course, the excess will go onto this bit of paper that I can use in future for collage, or I could cut it down into more artist trading cards. So there we go, the first layer on. I am going to put another layer on of virtually the same tone here. I want to just try and recreate that because there's a couple of little dry spots on the ATCs. So just trying to recreate that as best as possible. Now the reason I'm using the gel plate is I find that the paint dries a lot quicker this way than if I was actually painting it on. It just goes on that little bit thinner. So I managed to make up pretty much the same shade there. And because I'm going to do it right over the card, it's fine. It, it will cover it completely anyway. So if you're not in the Mixed Media Emporium Facebook group and you would like to become a member, then there will be a link in the description box below. And there are four questions you need to answer to join the group. They're very straightforward, there's nothing difficult about it, but unfortunately if you don't answer them then you are automatically declined. But you know, we welcome people of all stages, you know, we have people who have just started in art and mixed media and others who have been doing it for years, so as I say, everybody welcome. So just making sure that I get as much of that paint off as possible. So I'm going to do one other layer on the gel plate but this time I'm going to lighten that base colour. So I've got my turquoise and now I'm adding white to it. A little bit of the black or the grey still on my paintbrush there but that's fine. I don't mind that at all. All I'm interested in doing is getting a lighter tone than the base layer that I put down. Again, just mixing that on my gel plate. Now, this time I am going to add a little bit of texture. Just got a piece of punchinella, a piece of embroidery plastic and a piece of bubble wrap. Bubble wrap's a little bit more difficult to go over that way. And again, just building up that that will be used for collage papers or something. And you can see the imprint on my gel plate there. So it'll look a bit odd, but I don't want to put it straight down on there because I want some bits of my card to be still showing that very dark colour. So I spread them about the palette. It might look like a bit of a waste of paint, but nothing wasted. It will all go on to other sheets of paper. So just going over that, just to try and get a, a nice imprint on it. And I'm quite happy with the way that these have turned out. I particularly like the, the bubble wrap, but I like them all, really. And you can see there the kind of contrast between the two tones. Just going to clean that off again. For the next tone, I'm going to go lighter again. So I'm taking lots of white this time, adding in a little bit of the turquoise. It feels just a little bit too bright to me, so I'm going to put in a tiny bit of black. And, you know, there's almost an infinite number, it won't be infinite, but there's almost an infinite number 
of different tones that you can make because just a small amount can change it ever so so slightly and really it would go all the way from virtually white right the way through to so dark that it's it's it would be black so this time I'm taking a stencil has a kind of paisley pattern on it. I got this from Craftbox UK a while back and I'm just using a stencil brush just to get a bit of pattern on there. I don't want the whole thing covered. I want a bit to go on the very dark tone, a bit to go on the mid tone. Just all adding interest. And I'll do that now with the other cards. As I do this, I just want to say I'm a bit behind answering comments just now, but I will get caught up again. I was behind by about two weeks. I got caught up and I'm now behind by, I think, about two weeks again. So I will get caught up at some point soon. Now, after this, I do take a white Montana paint pen and just add some little bits of white here and there. Just some little dots and lines. Don't know what went wrong, though. I didn't manage to film that. So what you'll see next are actually the finished cards. I did also go round them with a black stays on ink pad but these are finished now. I might add some words to this at a later point. I'm not sure. Uh, I will probably also put them onto another piece of paper just to, to back them and keep them nice and clean. But here you can see I started with the very dark colour of the turquoise, the dark shade, introduced a kind of mid-tone which is was nearer to the actual turquoise colour itself, then I gave it a lighter colour and then finished it off with just some white. So I hope you enjoy the tone on tone challenge this week. Uh, do check out Nina's video. I'll leave a link to that below as well. So as always, thanks so much for watching. Take care and bye for now.